All right, so we're looking at examples of the singular value decomposition uh, and applications. As you can see, we've reinvented A, but we didn't use all the rows and columns of U and V. So that's why this is called the singular value decomposition. You don't need the part that's making A singular. In other words, A is non-invertible if it has uh, singular values that are equal to zero. And conversely, we don't need those. We just can ignore those and use only the non-zero singular values to recreate A. Now, let's notice that uh, uh, we're saying here that uh, the inverse of A is not defined uh, because its kernel uh, is not trivial. Or if you want to say it a different way, uh, it has a zero determinant. So therefore, instead of using the inverse, one of the things we've looked at quite a bit was the pseudo inverse. So what does the pseudo inverse look like? So the pseudo inverse is this A dagger. And let me make it a little bit bigger. Let's see. Uh, zoom. Uh, let's make it hover. So you can see this is the A dagger is simply the U and the V have switched roles, uh, and the sigma is a dagger, and by that we mean the non-zero part is inverted and all the zero part is left as is. And remember here that this sigma is the diagonal, uh, S1 up to SR. So let's create the pseudo inverse here. Okay. And so that looks something like that. If we create a matrix of zeros, and then I'm going to next, notice what I'm doing is I'm taking the diagonal entry 0, 0, and 1, 1, and I'm setting that to equal to 1 over sigma. And so what that produces is that produces the sigma dagger. So if you remember, oops, apologize for my spelling, uh, sigma itself is this uh, 1.9632 and 0 0.3687 and if I put 1 over for instance uh, 1.9632 then that's how I get this entry here and of course we're rounding up to four decimal places so it doesn't look so cluttered. Okay so what is the So what does the uh, singular value decomposition look like? Well, U star transpose is just U, so I don't need to recreate the U star now. And then here's my V transpose, and so if I execute that, uh, let's see what it looks like, sorry. then there is the pseudo inverse. And if I take, for instance, uh, a dag times a times a dag, then I get that. And if you'll notice, that's uh, sorry. That's the a dag. 
Okay, so essentially, as long as I'm multiplying by an a or an a dag, then these two can cancel each other.